Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about energy changes. Energy can be passed from one object to another. This is called energy transfer. An example of this is kicking a soccer ball. The kinetic energy from your leg is transferred to the ball so the ball moves. Energy can also be changed or transformed. This is when it changes from one type of energy into another type of energy. An example of this is a toaster. This takes in electrical energy but puts out heat energy. Energy transformation is represented by drawing an energy flow diagram. And there are a few key things we must remember when we draw these diagrams. Firstly, the arrow points in the direction of the transformation. Secondly, the energy input is written at the back of the arrow. And finally, the useful energy output is written at the tip of the arrow. Let's use our toaster as an example. The input of energy comes from the electrical energy supplied by the power cord. This then gets transformed into heat energy which allows our toast to cook. As you can see here, we have the input energy on the end of the arrow and at the tip of the arrow we have the heat energy which is the useful output energy. The final thing to consider when looking at energy transfer and transformation is the law of conservation of energy. This law states that energy can never be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. It may look like energy disappears, but it doesn't. It can get passed on or sometimes it can be wasted. If an object wastes energy, it's almost always gained by another object as heat. That's the end of today's lesson.